So we're ready to start um, the procedure. This one is for chemistry 221. Um, if you are doing chemistry 151, you'll want to skip part one. Now we're ready to move on to part two, determining the density of water by graphing. So you'll want to grab a burette, um, which is at the instructor bench, and then you will have a stand and a burette holder at your um, table. So I'll go grab a burette. All right, so let's put it you. Know, put it into the holder. And you'll want to make sure that it's in the closed position. So can you see that? I'll just raise it a little. So you'll want to make sure that it's in the closed position. And then we'll need to grab some DI water. We'll Grab some DI water, and then it says to fill the burette with um, deionized water, taking care that there are no trapped air bubbles. The initial volume should be somewhere between 2 and 10 mils. So we'll need to grab a beaker so that we can have something to collect into, and then also so that we can fill it. Alright, so I grabbed a beaker that we'll use to um, dispense into. And then I'm going to use a second beaker so that I can fill my burette. So the burette holds 50 mils, so you won't need more than 50 mils. Um, if you remember from safety, um, you don't want to fill anything above your eye level. So you'll remove it from the stand and make sure that it's in the closed position. You'll grab your liquid and then pour until it's almost at the top. So they said anywhere between 10 and two mils. All right, so I filled it almost to the two mils, but the burette is so um, accurate that it considers the volume that's in the tip as well. So this isn't our starting volume. So put it back in the holder. And then you'll put your collection finger underneath your burette. And then you'll want to open the burette just enough so that it fills the tip. Um, so you don't want to just like open it and leave it there because it'll continue to go down. So you just want to open it enough that there isn't any air bubbles left in here. So now um, the burette is full through the tip and we can take our initial reading. Record your initial volume. Grab a, a 50 ml beaker from your drawer, and then it says part or step two: draw off between three and seven mils of water into your clean, dry beaker. So, what you do is you'll open the burette, watching, so we started close to three, 
and it says to draw three to seven. So we'll want it to be somewhere between six and 10 um, as our final volume. So we'll open it and so based on how far you open it, we'll determine how fast it'll dispense. So you could go fast and then, you know, like take the break. Um, all right, so that's between um, three and seven mils of water. So record the new volume on your burette. try to get a good picture of that. So record your final volume. So now we're at step four. Weigh the beaker and water on an electronic balance and record the total weight of the water and the beaker. So we'll go to the instrument room. All right, and so it's already teared and, but if it wasn't, you would just hit tear or zero until you see that it's 0, 0.000 grams. So we'll put it on there, close all of the, the sliding doors, and record the mass of your beaker with the water in it. All right, now we'll go back to our lab bench. And we're at step five. So without emptying the water from the beaker, repeat steps two, three, and four again until you have a total of five measurements. So we're going to dispense another um, three to seven mils into the beaker. All right, so we're slightly above eight, so three mils would be to around 11. So I'll go to 12-ish. <laughs> All right, so now you'll record the the final volume on your burette. So record your data. And now we will go and measure the, the mass of the beaker with the water in it again. Close the lid and there. Record the volume or the mass of your beaker with the water in it. So now you should have two data points. We'll have to do this three more times. All right, so now we're slightly past 12 mils. So we will go to around 16-ish mils. All right, so you'll record the, the final volume on your burette again.
Now we'll go and measure the mass of our beaker again. And they wanted me to remind you guys um, we're only using one of these um, analytical scales to do all of our measurements so that it's consistent. All right. So record the mass of your beaker. All right, so now we have three data points. We'll do this two more times. All right, so we're a little past 16 mils, so um, we'll want to go to about 20 to make sure we get more than three mils. All right, so now I will have you record the final volume on your urette. Record the final volume. And then we will go and weigh our beaker again for our fourth data point. And then make sure it's teared. So record your the mass of your beaker. And now we will go get our final data point. All right, so we are a little past 20 mils at the start. So we'll want to go to, I'm trying to do about like four mils because that's between three and seven mils. So we'll go to 24-ish. end volume on your burette. All right, so now we will do the final weight of our beaker with the water in it. So record the mass of your beaker with the water in it. Alright, I just realized that we might have messed up and um, needed the initial mass of our beaker. So I'm going to pour out this water, dry it, and then um, measure the um, uh, mass of the beaker without water in it. All right, so we'll make sure that the scale is zeroed and then measure the beaker without water in it. So record your data.